Greenwich, Connecticut is a wonderful town right outside of New York City that has wonderful shopping, great parks, great schools, great sense of community. The vibe here is very warm and friendly. You sit down to a cafe and you see lots of people that you know, plenty of wonderful small businesses, and it just has a great cozy feel to it. I'm Katie and I'm moving back to my hometown, Greenwich, Connecticut. Growing up here was wonderful. I loved my school. I loved riding my bike to get candy at Ada's Candy Store right near Riverside Train Station. It was wonderful. Greenwich has changed in many ways. It's much better shopping, much better restaurants. The downtown area has really transformed and there are a lot more families that are moving back. My husband and I are currently living in New York City and we are looking to have more space. We want a different pace of life. I'm a jewelry designer and I run my own small business, so we want, we need a lot more space for that. We're hoping for about four bedrooms. We want a two car garage. We both want office space within our house and um, the more space, the better. <laughs> Katie, this is a modern classic. I think you'll like it. There's a two car garage. It's three bedrooms, two and a half baths, about 2,500 square feet. I like the blue stone. This is a nice, nice entryway. Let's go inside. This house has really nice light, great high ceilings, good moldings, hardwood floors. There's a really nice terrace out here and lawn. And then we flow right into their family space. I love Once this. you go on ahead. This is a good amount of space in here because you can do so much with it. Good vibes in here. You're in the kitchen. An island. <laughs> These are quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances. You know, it's new construction. So this is fantastic. Everything looks great. I love this blue color as well. I like how it's got a little bit more going on here, even though it's a white kitchen. Yes. Are you a cook? My husband is. <laughs> okay, good. Although with a kitchen like this, I could learn to cook. <laughs> All right, good. There's a powder room right here, and then really nice dining room area. The molding really adds a very nice classic touch in here. Let's head upstairs. Katie, start with the primary bedroom. Lots of space, lots of light, this beautiful window. The lighting is fantastic. It will help you wake up in the morning. <laughs> yes, it will. Now, there are two closets here. One is over here. Oh, this is walk perfect. Walk-in. Oh, wow, two walk-in? Two walk-ins. That's fantastic. Yeah. I'll yeah. be taking one and a half. <laughs> OK, all right. This is a nice size bath as well. Everything looks absolutely brand new. It's completely move and ready. There's, I wouldn't change a thing in here. So let's head into the other two bedrooms. So across the hall is the first of the other two bedrooms on this floor. Two windows, big double closet. I would probably use this as an office space. This is great. Love the little nook it has here, and this is a huge closet. This bedroom connects mm -hmm. to a Jack and Jill bath. Oh, nice. And then on the other side is another bedroom space. So these could be bedrooms for you, workspaces, office. Yeah, I like that versatility. And mm -hmm. is that a walk-in closet? Big walk-in closet. Yes. Let me show you. Oh, that's, that is huge. Right? So the size of my New York City apartment. <laughs> a lot of storage. So that makes up the second floor, third floor. Ready? Katie, I think you're going to like this third floor space. It also has some great options for your office and business. This is nice and cozy. It's got good natural light, but it's also a good escape. This space has sort of two halves, so okay. let's go oh, see the other another. half. Oh, wow. In the middle here is a nice big bench seat, huge window, oh, this is awesome. which brings a lot of light. And then in here is the other half. Oh, this is great. Totally move-in ready. It so. is move-in ready. Ready to see some more houses? Yes, let's do All it. Right. Don't make up your mind just yet. <laughs> we have some other options. I'll try not to, but this is a really wonderful space. The modern classic was wonderful. I was so thrilled with how much space it had. It was completely move-in ready, which was so important to us. And I loved on the third floor the bonus space where you could make it whatever you wanted, and it was cozy and warm up there. Katie, welcome to the Shore Colonial. This house is an antique. It was built in 1913. It's got three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and it's about 2,300 square feet. I love this front porch. It's Isn't so this charming. nice. Great seating area over here. I want to show you an interesting detail on the door here. This is the original uh, doorbell. So it's so there's a bell cool. on the inside. Oh, right? I love that. Mailman used to come and put the mail here in the slot. That's really awesome. Right? So let's go on in. Oh, this is so charming. Yeah. 
Let's head into the living room. Okay, perfect. Okay? Now, lots of charming details in here. Look at the moldings, all the built-ins, and then this fireplace. This is fantastic. We have a huge book collection, so this will be put to good use. <laughs> okay, great. This flows right into the family room, and this is a big, oh, huge. huge space. Skylight at this end, and then all these built-ins oh, over my here, gosh. which is so nice. So detailing at the top is fantastic. And then over here on the side is another access to the wraparound porch. Oh, I love that. And right off of here is the dining room. Oh, wow. This. And here are some more details. So although I don't think these beams are original, they accent the, the whole feel of the house. And is that a working fireplace? Yes, it is. It's just a nice little nook in here, right? Oh, this is really cozy and warm. Let's go around into the kitchen. All this brick is the original fireplace of the house. Right oh, here. that's so cool. Now they're just using it as a little nook, so oh, you like can that. be creative in there. Oh, that's such a cool detail. I've never seen anything mm -hmm. like that. So we can go back around. This has got great flow. Seeing some parties happen? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Ready to head upstairs? Let's do it. Katie, upstairs are three bedrooms and two baths. Now this is a little foyer area in between the two bedrooms, so I think it's nice. You can have a little seating area here. There's one bedroom here, great light. Oh, I love these built-ins. That's such a cute feature. It's nice. I love this high ceiling here. I just think it gives it a, a great feel. So next door is the primary bedroom. Big bedroom, and then Katie down here, I think, is what used to be the old sleeping porch. Obviously, this house built in 1913 didn't have air conditioning. Imagine. So on hot days, people would sleep out on the porch. Now it's been enclosed since. That's such a cool, unique feature. It really is nice. Yeah. So there's a full bath right here, and then a nice closet right here. Let's go back outside, and then let's go into the other bedroom. And I have a okay. treat for you in there. Ooh. So this bedroom oh, get out. has That's a fireplace. Amazing. Isn't that great? Oh, I love that. The yeah. detailing on this fireplace is so cool. And this might work for your office. Yes, definitely. With the fireplace, I'm going to okay. steal this for my office. Let's head back down. We just have one more house. Yes, I'm excited to see it. I wasn't expecting to like something that wasn't a more modern, newer build, but it just had charm that I wasn't expecting. Just every corner you turn, there was something exciting there to see. Katie, this is the largest of the homes that we're going to see today, and it's a classic colonial. Two-car garage and a really nice arbor here as you enter into the front yard. It gives it sort of a cozy feeling. And let's head on in. All right, Katie, come on in. This is a nice grand foyer, and then open on both sides. Let's go into the living room. The living room is full of light, and you're gonna love this because it's got light on three sides, and then it's really I nice. I love this fireplace. fireplace. I've never seen marble like this before. It's really very nice. There are French doors out to a terrace. Oh, that's wonderful. So you can do sort of indoor, outdoor entertaining. Mm -hmm. So let's go back through the foyer. Okay. And then I'll take you over to the kitchen. And a really fun powder room. I think oh, you're gonna like this. Oh, this is amazing. I love the wallpaper. Oh, that's such a fun pop of color. Right next door is the kitchen. Yeah, this island is fantastic. Isn't this nice? This is all granite. What's nice about this kitchen, Katie, is that there is this full dining area Yeah, here. this is really so. great. And then from here, you've got French doors out to that terrace, which connects to the living room. And then French doors here, Perfect. which take you out to another deck. Now in here, Katie, was originally um, a formal dining room, but this family is using it as a family room. So this is a flexible space. Oh, perfect, it's great to have versatile spaces. All right, so back through the foyer again. We'll head okay. upstairs. Perfect. There are four bedrooms and three baths up here. So what's yeah. nice is that your primary bedroom is here, the other three bedrooms are here, so there's oh, a little like bit that. of privacy. And this is a nice space, good storage. It is, too. nice little spot to sit. And oh, this is so wonderful. Big, big master bedroom. Oh, wow. Beautiful fireplace. Yeah. I like how it's cozy, even though there's a lot of space in this room. This is a great spot. You're just, it's like you're in a tree house. Yeah, right? exactly, right. I know. And then through here, you're gonna love this. Ah, this is a fantastic So closet. this is a big walk-in closet. Yeah. It's nice. That's Lots of drawers, great. hanging space, shelves. And then the primary bath is here. Oh, this is a great space. So two sinks, big walk-in shower with a bench. Yeah, lots of storage. storage. It's nice and bright and airy in here. Beautiful tile work too yeah. in the bath. Yeah, never want to leave that shower. <laughs> So let's head back through. So this is one of the other three bedrooms, Katie. This, oh, great color. Isn't this fun? Yeah. Nice bookcase built above. Oh, this is 
There's a nice seat right here over the window oh, and then a big it. closet right here. This is a great space. This is a huge extra bedroom. Extra bedroom? Yeah. Your office? Yeah. Your production area? Yeah. And then there's a really nice bathroom right here. And this is a Jack oh, and Jill bathroom, so it opens up to one of the other bedrooms. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, let's head back out. And down the hall is another bedroom en suite. Yeah. Let's take a look outside, Katie. Oh, this is great. This pergola has a retractable top, so you can close this off, oh, keep wow. it dry, protect yourself from the sun. Yeah, so yeah, even if it's rainy, you can still go forward with outdoor dinner. Exactly, and remember those French doors go into the kitchen right. and the dining area. Oh, that's so convenient. Oh, that's really so, convenient. So, really nice. And around the corner is the other terrace. Wonderful space, I love it. Good yeah. space. Yeah. So, shall we head inside and talk about the three places we saw today? Let's do it. Okay. Well, Katie, we saw a lot of houses today. We did. Productive day. <laughs> it was. What did you think of the first house we saw, the modern classic? I really liked that house. I loved the two-car garage. The flow of the first floor was really wonderful. And I loved the third floor as well. That was a really great versatile space where, as you pointed out, we can make it into just a cozy nook or it can be for my work and just a relaxing space. So there were lots of options and flexibility with that. And then the second house we saw was the Shore Colonial. Yes. That was our antique house from 1913. Yes, I thought it was so charming. I loved the doorbell. I loved the molding, the built-ins, the sleeping porch in the bedroom. It's things you don't actually get to see anymore. It was a really charming house and I loved the property there as well. Well, Katie, we're in the third house. Yes. This was the largest, the classic colonial. Yes. What are your thoughts? I love it. <laughs> you do? I do. I love the lighting in here. The windows are fantastic. The trim work throughout the house with the high gloss paint. I love the powder room. Very big fan of that wallpaper. Okay. And the outdoor space. I think the ability to entertain outside and inside is just wonderful. Well, we saw three great places, yeah. all very different. Why don't you talk it over with your husband? think about things and yeah. let me know what your thoughts are. Yeah, difficult decision to make, but um, I've got some ideas. All right, great. Yeah. Good. This was a good day. Yes, it was. It was Very fun. productive. Yeah. I'm excited to let you know that we picked the classic Colonial. Um, we've been here for about a month now and it's been so much fun to add some of our colorful touches to this home, but it didn't need much work. So it's been a wonderful transition. My parents are thrilled to have us back and it's just been wonderful to be back home. I love going into Old Greenwich. I can walk there from my house um, and I spend a lot of time going to some of my childhood favorite places.